Uh, welcome back to the sweet, sweet quality of the Galaxy S6 camera. No longer using the HTC One camera, unless I'm doing case reviews. Uh, so we had three or four case reviews that I just uploaded. We're only going to be using the HTC One for those reviews, so whatever else I'm doing is going to be with the S6. So this is the Planet Rush solar power charger it's got 12,000 milliamp hours uh, so the main reason you'd buy this is for the solar but uh, let's just focus and move down a little bit so you probably get this for the solar but it's got a few up a uh, couple of key features that set it apart from anything else that I've seen so over here it has a stand for your phone. You can see me. So it's got a stand for your phone. You can charge it. Uh, let's get uh, just a random cable. Hold on. Let's get a cable right here. here I'll just show you and then I'll, sh I'll uh, charge. So you've got uh, two USB outputs. These aren't the best of uh, covers. They're kind of uh, flimsy, but they'll do the job. So you've got two USB outputs. Up top, you have nothing. Side, you've got your USB, micro USB input. Bottom, nothing. Uh, on the back, you do have a flashlight, which is almost like a camera flash. It's about as bright as a camera flash. It's the best... Uh, the best flashlight that I've seen on a, uh, a power bank so far. What I don't like is these don't seem to be, uh, these sides don't seem to be um, glued in place. So maybe you guys could, uh, just at uh, Planet Rush, glue these in place please. Don't want them to fall out. But uh, maybe I'll take some time to super glue. But uh, yeah, so you've got the solar charger. Uh, move. Let's try to uh, pan over to this side where I have all of my stuff that I didn't want you guys to see. This is a mess, but get the knife out of here. So we've got this Tron desk lamp, and if we hold it close enough, you won't be able to see it. But let's see if we can put that down. Move this up a little bit and see if I can show you charging. Let's see how would I be able to do this? But uh, regardless, let's just try doing this. Go up. Come on. Give me power. It it it's uh it needs really uh, really bright circumstances. To charge so you you'll probably have to be outside unless you want it right under your lamp so uh, but that's right here is your green LED that'll light up when the device is charging via solar so this one right here right here and uh, you've got your four LEDs you get a hold oh yeah so you, so you just press that it'll come up double tap and you'll come up with your flash, really bright flash. Press it again. You've got your, uh, what I'm guessing is Morse code for SOS, maybe. I'm not quite sure. But uh, it'll flash like that. And then press it again. You've just got your flash, or your fast flashing. Sorry, kind of a tongue twister. But to press it again, it'll turn off. So, realistically, the solar charger, this panel is not going to charge your uh, phone fully so what I'm thinking is you bring this along for a camping trip right it's not gonna you you have it charged before you get there but uh, maybe you get lost or something your phone dies this is out of battery you put this in the Sun for an hour or two you'll have enough juice to uh, call a family member to pick you up realistically it's gonna take a, a long time uh, tens of hours to just charge this fully. See, you only got a solar charging input of 200 milliamps. 
So it's going to take a long time. I think 60 hours. So if we had this in the sun, direct sunlight for 60 hours, this would be full. Maybe even more because of the, uh, it probably would get some heat into it and uh, not be 100% conversion. But this so far is the most promising uh, I've seen of any solar charger just because of all the features it has. So again, I'm going to show you it charges. Let's uh, open the side outputs. Let's plug in. This is really nice. I uh I like this stand feature, so let's plug that in. Press power. So let's see. Thirty percent. Get the charging icon right there. Turn that off. And we are got a stand right there. So that's really, really nice. This will con continuously blink, these LEDs. Uh, it'll always stay on when you're charging, but uh, I, I really like this. This is the most promising. Of course, it could use some uh, some fixes, and uh, they contacted me. They said that they're going to send out, or they're uh, going to be using better boxes and better, uh, more. Be let's just say better packaging, better instructions, better boxes. Because uh, the, 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 what's it called, the info that came in the box, the user's manual, was of no help. Like, it was all, didn't even tell you how to, how many times, you have to figure it out how to use the, uh, the flash, how many times you press it, but, it's, it's easy, it's, it's self-explanatory, mostly, but, it had useless information in the, uh, box. So, thanks for watching, uh, this is the best uh, solar charger it's got a ton of milliamps for a solar charger uh i really like it it's the most promising it can use some fixes super glue this down please guys these uh these sides these silicon sides and uh yeah so maybe you should move the power button onto the side and put a bigger solar panel if you can but this is realistically, it's like I said, it's not going to charge your phone 100% just using the solar panel. That will take three, four days of continuous sunlight, which you're not going to get. It's going to go into night eventually, unless you're in Alaska. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. This is recommended, 45 bucks. It's the best solar charger I've seen. So thanks for watching.